Good evening. This is Evening News on Remo TV. I am Anibaba Bekeloloa. On national news, the national leadership of the Emergence National Consultative Front of National Leaders of Conscience, currently led by former Speaker, House of Representatives, Huma Gali Nahaba, a political economist and former presidential candidate, Prof. Pat Utomi, among others, have vehemently kicked against the planned new field prize. The leaders of conscience condemned on very strong terms what they described as the hanky-panky and deceitful games being played by the federal government and petroleum product marketers on the recent hike in the pump price of petrol by the Muhammad Buhari government. In a statement by the head of NC Front Public Affairs Bureau, Dr. Tanko Junusa, NC Front, an emergent mass movement mobilizing Nigerians to rescue the country from the disastrous grip of the present ruthless political leadership through a new people's constitution, have vowed to mobilize Nigerians against the fuel price by locking up the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, and all petroleum depot across the country. The NC Front has however called on its members, allies and supporters nationwide to resist the wicked insensitivity hanky-panky over the dubious hike in fuel price from 145 naira to 212, later reduced to between 165 naira and 170 naira per litre based on conspiracy between the federal government and petroleum marketers without any form of consultations and prior with the suffering masses and citizens of Nigeria who are currently bearing the brunt of the avoidable hardship foisted on the country by the inertia and ineptitude of the Buhari regime. Still on national news, gunmen suspected to be bandits on Sunday night kidnapped two female students of the Olabisi Onobanjo University, Ayituru Campus, Ayituru, Yewa North local government area of Ogun State. It was reliably gathered that the incident occurred at about 9 p.m. on Sunday when the suspected bandits stormed Igbole Aibo Kota area of Ayituru, shooting sporadically. Residents who spoke with the van under the condition of anonymity said the gunmen captured and abducted the two students who were said to be returning home at the time. The abducted female students have been ident identified as Ade Yemoluwa Shon Precious, Thirunri Level Forestry and Wildlife Management, and Oye Fule Oluwa Tosin Abisola, Thirunri Level Agricultural Economics. It was further gathered that the suspected bandits targeted a female call with card voucher bulk dealer living in the area. But due to their failure to break, break through the gate to her house, which they had attacked, they resorted to abducting the two female varsity students who were returning from Manhattan. On international news, Myanmar security forces killed at least 38 people Sunday in one of the deadliest days since the military ceased power in a coup and declared martial law in six areas after Chinese funded factories were set on fire. The heaviest casualties were in an industrial suburb of the larger city Yangon, where military and police opened fire on an unarmed protesters, killing at least 22, according to the advocacy group of the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, which said Langthaya district became like a battlefield. In one unverified image, a protester can be seen holding for under a makeshift field as he holds onto the shirt of a foreign fellow demonstrator. At least 16 people were killed in other regions around the country on Sunday, including in the second city of Mandalay and in Bagu, where the state media said a police officer had died of a chest wound after a confrontation with protesters. This is the second policeman reported dead in the protest. The weekend's fatalities bring the death toll since the coup to at least 126 people, according to the AAPP. The Chinese embassy in Yama said several Chinese-funded factories were smashed and set ablaze in Yangon's industrial zone during protests Sunday. Chinese citizens were also injured, according to the embassy. On sports news, Paris since German star and Angel de Maria was withdrawn during his size loss to Nantes on Sunday after his home had been boggled. PSG told AFP that Di Maria was one of the two players who were victims of burglaries during the game. A source close to the investigation told AFP on Monday that although the burglary took place in the presence of Di Maria's family at their home in Alt de Seine, there was no violence. A statement of on behalf of Brazilian defender and club captain Marquinhos said his parents' home had also been boggled with his family on the premises.
Lastly, on entertainment news, Nigerians have taken to social media to felicitate with Olamide Benga Dedeji as a celebrator's birthday today. The rapper, popularly known as Bado, who was born March 15, 1989, clocks 32 years today. His impact on the music industry within the past 10 years had redefined indigenous rap in Nigeria. A fan at Samiat noted that the rapper has consistently lent a big voice to street music with his career. The fan said, 32 years of greatness and still counting. Happy birthday to the reason why I love music. The one who redefined the streets. The one person who still reminds me that humble rich people exist. Happy birthday, Olamide. The YBNL music label boss boasts of several nominations and awards locally and internationally. This includes the album of the year as well as rap act of the year in the 2016 Nigerian Entertainment Awards. His last album, Cap Dame, released on October 2020, still enjoys massive airplay globally. A former artist under the YBNL label at Adekunle Gold also sent bed the wishes to his former boss in a tweet saying, Happy birthday, Alamide blessings, Baba Mili. That is all we have for evening news on Remote TV. You can follow us on every of our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Official Remote TV. You can also check us out on our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I remain Annie Baba Bekelulua. Good night.